Today I want to come to you with a makeup review by Milani. If you are interested in seeing this video, then keep on. I have the cream to powder um, foundation. It comes in a cute little case. I just love the way this little case looks. And it has a little cute little mirror in the in the compact. The little sponge, makeup sponge application, which I'm not going to use. <laughs> okay, but let me tell you a little bit about this cream to powder foundation. It is, let's see, it's $8.99, so super affordable, and it says light diffusing, buildable coverage foundation. It's a soft matte finish. It has lily and bamboo extracts to control oil and shine, and it um, contains antioxidant rich vitamin A and E plus green tea available in 22 shades okay so it says it's the Milani conceal and perfect cream to powder foundation so you know with Milani they always have cream to powder or um, concealer type cream foundation so I, I bought a couple of them <laughs> but this one I bought 230 which is um, light beige which is definitely not me and I don't know why I'm saying too because they look like it would be the color, the complexion. But when I looked at it totally, when I looked at it overall, it looks like 270 will be my complexion. I've already added all my skincare on, my serums, and my sunscreen. So I always apply sunscreen to any foundation too. So we're going to see how all of it looks together. I'm not going to use the makeup applicator sponge that came with it. I'm just going to apply it like, ooh. This looks a little, <laughs> so we're going to see. <laughs> it feels, I'm trying to see how the texture, let's see, goes on. I'm going to just, it looks, I don't know, a little darker, but sometimes it may look like that as I blend it out, so let's see. It feels a little drying going on and you know I moisturize my skin thoroughly so it says cream to powder it's going on it looks a little where well. I'm so light lately so let's see I'm just gonna continue to apply it damp beauty blender I'm gonna go in and just kind of press it into the skin because a lot of times you want you don't want that foundation to just lay on your skin so I like to go in and just kind of stubble it and press it in it looks so much better It doesn't feel dry now first application when as you're applying it on it to me it feels dry applying it but it doesn't feel dry so far on my skin so this is basic I like foundations where I do not have to use a powder but I may still use a setting spray my Milani setting spray just to see how it turns out but I'm gonna go ahead and finish my entire face and basically let you know my final thoughts on this foundation. This is the foundation complete. Okay, 
So it looks like it is, it looks like it's a perfect shade. I thought it was gonna be super dry on my skin, but it is not. It says controls oil and shine. I'm trying to see if it says that, I mean, is it for oily skin, normal combination? Let's see. Uh, it seems like it is for all types. It doesn't say whether it is for normal oily dry combination. The foundation and um, targets is $8.99. I saw on in Ulta it's $10.99, okay? It says blends in, stands out, Milani Conceal and Perfect Smooth Finish Clinical Powder Foundation. It glides on as a cream, magical, morphs into a buildable full coverage. So it is buildable, light diffusing powder foundation with a soft matte, camera ready finish, made with lily and bamboo extract, extract to control oil and shining to keep the skin on point whenever it, the day takes you. Antioxidant rich with vitamin A and E and green tea. To protect, help to protect your skin. Available in 22 shades, and it says it is buildable. Okay, so I believe it is for all skin types then, because it doesn't say oily, normal combination of dry. And I know that I have dry skin, and being that I have dry skin, it doesn't feel drying on my skin. But it did feel dry going on. It just felt it didn't. It didn't feel creamy. I guess that's what to expect when it's a cream to powder. So I did spray it with my, I set it with my Make It Dewy setting spray just in case to see if it was going to feel dry and, and it doesn't. So it doesn't give me that lift of brightness that I usually have with foundation. You know how some foundations, they'll match, but you have to do a little bit more to brighten it to make it look, you know, but it is a perfect match so far. Again, I am in the shade tan to 70 for eight dollars and 99 cent or ten dollars and 99 cent this is not a bad take me you know just to travel it's a cute little compact um milani's packaging is so pretty to me it, it's it's more of a quality i think milani has quality um, products so yeah if you're interested in trying to find a cream to powder foundation that's affordable that looks good on the skin you really do not have to set this at all. I mean, this really, it looks pretty good on the skin. So I'm not complaining at all. It feels really good. I've only had it on for like two or three hours now. And I will update you on Instagram and just throughout the day and how this feels and how it looks on my skin. So far, so good. But I, I do like the way it feels. It doesn't feel dry at all. So yeah, that is it for the Milani review. I hope this video was interesting, especially when I'm all about affordable products as well. I do high end. I like to review high end foundations and makeups, but I also like to review affordable products, you know, for, because everyone can afford the $88, $90 foundation, $60, $45, you know. So I really like to bring products or try to find makeup that is affordable, that look good. So anyway, guys, thank you so very much for tuning in. Don't forget to go on over to my Instagram and like that so you can stay updated with me because I post a lot of personal information. I just show a lot of myself more so. I share more on the Instagram and Facebook and Twitter and all of that. So anyway, guys, thank you so very much for tuning in. As always, peace and love until next time. Mwah.